Hello everyone. So in this video, I will show you how to register an application to an Azure Active Directory for uh, authentication for your application. Okay, so let's say that your uh, your organization has um, an a portal. Let's say it's an employee portal or an HRMS portal. Okay, where people can log in uh, using their Active Directory credentials, and then probably they can do whatever they want to. Okay. So how will you make sure that the authentication request from your application lands to the Azure Active Directory and then it gets authenticated? Okay, so this is what we are going to do in this demo. I've already created a sample application. It's a simple, basic HTML uh, JavaScript application, okay, which has a login box where you need to put your username and password. And then uh, the authentication request using the JavaScript would hit uh, the Active Directory. Okay, and the, if the user credential is valid, then the user would be able to log in and a success message would be displayed. So this is what this application would do. Okay, and we'll run this application inside a container. Okay, so I've created a container image, sorry, a Docker file. And using this Docker file, we'll create a container image. Since it's a simple web application, I'm using HTTPD image, then I'm popping the index file or the application file inside the container and then we'll run this container okay now before i can build the docker image and run my application first i need to register this application in azure active directory tenant so let's say this is my azure active directory tenant okay i'll go to app registration i'll say add new application okay now let's name this application as azure active directory single page application okay I'll say that a uh, user from this Active Directory tenant as well as other Azure Active Directory tenant can log into this application. And the platform is a single page app and it's hosted locally. It's not in any URL. So I'll just put local host as the URI and I'll register this app. Now, once the app is registered, you will get the app ID or client ID and you will get the endpoint you which, which you want to hit. Okay. These details you need to enter inside the app application file. So client ID, I'll copy and paste it over here. And then I require the authentication endpoint. So I'll use the, I'll just simply use this authentication endpoint. Okay, I'm not putting the entire thing, rest of the things would be automatically appended by my application. Okay. And that's it. So from this, from my app side, the changes are done. Now inside Azure Active Directory, I need to do a small change. So I'll go to authentication. And over here, I'll enable this. These two settings, hybrid flow and access to pin. Okay. So for single page app, you would need to do this. Okay. And once this is done, Let's build the Docker image. So I'll open the prompt or PowerShell. So I'll say Docker build hyphen T. Let's name the application image as Azure Active Directory single page application dot. So this builds my Docker image. So if I do Docker images, I have the image. Now I'll run this app. I'll say Docker run ITD hyphen P. Let's run it on port 80. The name is Azure Active Directory single page app. Use the RM flag and the image name. So Docker PS. So the app is running. And now if I hit localhost i can see the login prompt now let's say that uh let's let me identify a user through which we can log in and i'll open this application in cognito mode okay so let's say this is our user the username 
put the password and I'll click on the login button. It might ask here and done. We are logged in. And since we are logged in, we can see this message. So I didn't provide the last name anywhere inside this application. Okay. But it is able to retrieve my first name as well as last name since it is there in Active Directory. Okay. So very simple. If you have your application, you, this is how you register the application to Active Directory. You get the authentication endpoint and the uh, client ID. You can use the client ID in any type of application. It would be a simple Java, uh, JavaScript application like this okay, using the JavaScript library, or it could be application written in other programming language, Python, Node.js, Java. You just need to use the uh, Azure Active Directory client libraries or Azure Active Directory SDKs, and then you need to uh, register the app and use the client ID. All right, so I hope you like this video. This is it. Thank you for watching.